What is up, honeys? It's King Brittany Chanel, and you're on my same Brittany Chanel channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing some RH dupes. I could spend, you know, thousands of dollars on RH, but I wanted to use some things that were already in my home. So if you like these sort of videos, you know, DIY videos, simply make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video, hit your notification bell so that you're notified every time I release a new video, and let's get started. I'm going to be transforming today in this video. The first item I'm going to be transforming is this lovely piece here. I'm going to be using Min Wax Wood Finish to, you know, you know, stain this wood true black so that you can really see the details in the front. And we're going to be changing the hardware to gold in the front. We're going to be painting that gold. Also, I'm going to be spray painting all three of the vessels in the rust-oleum flat black paint so here's what you're going to need for this project if you want to try to do your own rh dupes i'm just using pro um you know products that i already have in the house you're going to need some gloves some rust-oleum paint this is black flat but this is the paint plus primer ultra co ultra cover and you're going to need min wax wood finish and this is the semi-transparent color stain in true black this is really going to give this a nice color and you're going to be able to see all the great detailing at the front of this piece also i'm going to be using some tub o towels heavy duty cleaning wipes so that i can wipe off the surfaces before i get to spray painting and um, painting the surfaces and you're gonna need an old cloth. So let's get started guys on the first piece. Hey guys, so I am in my garage. Um, please make sure you are in a well ventilated area when using spray paint. And I'm just spray painting these pieces in the matte black finish um, with the Rust-Oleum spray paint. I'm just making sure that I'm going over these, you know, with a nice coat. Um, you probably uh, are going to have to do as many coats as you would like, but I'm getting a really good look with this. I can't wait for this to dry for you all to see um, the result of this paint. I really enjoyed using this and it really gave me the finish that I desired with these pieces. And also, if you notice, it looks really shiny right now, but when it dries, it is going to be a matte color. So just look out for that. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful transformation, but I'm just continuing to spray until I have even coverage or my desired coverage. And if you're doing this project as well, make sure that you do the same. And so here is what we have. I'm going to let this spray paint dry and come back to do the aging process of these pieces. Okay, here guys, I'm just explaining that I have a cup with a little bit of water, sand, and this is where the aging process uh, begins. You can use whatever materials that you want to use to age your vessel. Some people they use, they start with plaster. Some people they use dirt. So whatever you want your texture to be, that is what you would use. Today I am using sand and a little bit of dirt to age um, this vessel. And it's really coming out well. You just have to make sure you just use a little bit of water and just kind of pack, you know, the sand on so it begins to stick to the paint. And make sure as you're doing this, you are rubbing off the um, excess clumps so that it's not like super clumpy. You want like an age look and you don't want it super clumpy and like bulky in certain areas. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just rubbing sand and dirt into the grooves so that this begins to look like the Chinese uh, wine pot that we want it to look like from Restoration Hardware. Okay. 
okay guys i'm just wiping off the excess um sand you see me just brushing off any of the excess sand or dirt uh from the cup and you know other stuff that i didn't need on the pot i'm making sure that everything is like evenly coated around the pot um, making sure like you know it's um you know the sand is more in certain areas than it is other areas some areas i didn't want the sand as much so i'm just going through and just wiping off that excess sand as you can see just rub it in really well it's kind of like you are putting marinade on a piece of uh chicken you just rub it rub it rub it real good that's what we're doing here making sure like any areas that you want dirt or sand heavily uh coated you put it there and you're just making it age. So this is what I'm currently doing at this moment, like making sure that everything is good and to my liking. Guys, I also like this vessel because it had the grooves. Um, some vessels don't come with those grooves where you have to add plaster and things, but this was perfect. The sand just adhered perfectly and fit into those tiny grooves on the vessel. Okay guys, so this vessel has a little bit of a smooth surface, but I'm going to show you all how I aged it anyway. So what I'm doing guys is I'm getting, you see the grooves that it has around the perimeter of the top of the vessel. I'm packing that sand and dirt in there because I want it to really get into those grooves. And you're gonna see as I do this process how good this is gonna look after I finish. Um, when it has a smooth surface and you really want it to adhere to the paint, what you're going to do is, you're gonna see me packing the sand on and I'm going to begin to pat down the surface of this particular vessel and then it's gonna be sealed with the clear um, Rust-Oleum. So just, you know, I'm packing you see, I'm really like working that in those grooves. It's best to get things with grooves. Um, you can make a smooth surface work, but you this is what you see me doing, just packing it in those grooves and really working it in there. That's the whole goal of aging the vessels is to pack that sand or whatever that dirt is that you're using on. You guys will see at the end how I got these to look aged to my liking in its entirety. But what I want you guys to remember is that you have to age your vessels to your liking or your desired look, okay? Maybe you may not like this or you may want it a little uh, bit more aged. You have to do use whatever materials to make the vessels look the way you want them to look like i wanted this age but not too aged so i wanted it aged and I, I really got the look that i desired so i'm just wiping off you know the excess sand and i'm patting the sand onto the smooth surface and it's adhering here I wanna say that the goal for this project is for your vessels to look like you just unearthed these out of the dirt, or you found like a really cool old piece that you got maybe at like a, a thrift shop or you know, an antique shop. So that is the goal. I'm just patting off the excess off of this one and putting the sand in the, in the desired places, that's what I wanna say, on this vessel. All right, so now we're just gonna wipe off our, you know, our workspace. I'm getting all of the sand and the dirt and everything that was on top of it off and really wiping it down good so that the min wax adheres very well to this um, herringbone side piece, okay? So just wipe down your surface real good and then we're preparing for our min wax. In this project, I'm going to be using Min Wax Wood Finish in the color True Black. This is for me to stain my piece. So let's get started. I'm going to put this back on the ground because I need to stain it. 
stain the top okay so right here you can see me i have applied the men wax to this old cloth or some cloth that i found to apply it and this is how i chose to apply the men wax at first and you can see me just you know dipping the cloth reapplying it and that sort of thing so i'm just dipping the cloth in the men wax and then you're gonna see me basically wiping it into the piece so that's what you want to do but i did during this process after i got a good coating of the men wax on with the cloth i decided to use a sponge at a certain point so just keep that in mind the sponge applies the product a little bit faster but just starting off i decided to wipe the men wax in guys after using this cloth i decided to get a sponge and the sponge is the better route to go i went to home depot and just got an applicator sponge and just put the men wax on and it really got the men wax into the grooves of this piece okay guys so here i am just about to apply you know with the applicator sponge i got from home depot um i can't stress that enough so go and get you an applicator sponge it's much faster look at how this product is just easily gliding on to this um i wish i would have started with the sponge to begin with guys so that's the only thing that i would say to do instead of using the cloth go ahead and get you an applicator sponge and you can just see me i am just adding you know my desired coats you have to apply as many coats as you feel like you need for whatever type of uh age look that you're going for i was going for that weathered uh brown kind of herringbone side uh piece that restoration hardware has and so that is why i got the true black um men wax to replicate that i wanted a little bit of brown to still peek through the black so you see me here just evenly coating things and you know allowing some of the black to shine through okay so i'm gonna take this clear rust-oleum it's for like you to protect and seal your pieces and so that is what i'm going to take to seal in the sand um, for these to have the age look I don't want sand and dirt you know falling off this so this is really to seal all of that in and you're just gonna evenly coat it all over I know it's gonna you know it, it looks a little glossy when you first put it on but I promise you guys it is going to dry matte when it finishes and this stuff really was good um, I don't have sand and things coming all off the pieces so just apply you know some good even coats to this and let it dry for the desired dry time and you know whatever however many coats is how it may take to dry so just allow it time to dry all right you guys look at everything this is how my diys that were rh inspired came out and i am loving everything okay so let me just show you this particular vessel first i was going for that chinese wine pot that is on uh restoration hardware and it looks aged let me zoom in you guys can kind of see where i use the sand and the dirt and this is how it's looking with the beautiful birds of paradise plant in there and then i have this side cabinet here and this, I want it to look like the herringbone side cabinet that RH has, and it looks awesome. I wanted it to have like some pieces of brown still shining through, so the men wax really came through for me um, because you can still see brown. Like I wanted, I wanted it to be like that weathered brown color. Now here are these vessels; they look aged also. And I, that's what I was going for, you guys. Let me show you. I love the branches that I put in there. And it's just really looking good. Let me zoom in so you guys can see where I use sand and dirt. 
and it really gave it an aged look. And here is everything. And it looks so great, guys. If you like these sort of videos, go ahead and thumbs up the video, like, comment, and subscribe, share the video, and definitely make sure you hit your notification bell so that you're notified every time I release a new video. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon on the next video.